Welcome guys. So uh, this is another uh, inequality section. Uh, since we are talking about probability for a while, right? So uh, we can talk about uh, probability uh, inequality here. This is Bloch's equality. Okay. So uh, no, let's just first I just first say a statement. Okay. So let's say you have an event. A zero, A one, da, 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 some uh, let's say A one, A two, up to A n. Okay, so it's finite. Okay, so let's talk. Uh, and then you, uh, I think, I think. Okay, so now we only focus on finite. And then you intersection all these. E uh, sorry, is you union all these events, and uh, the probability of well less than uh, P A I for I to n. Okay. Uh, if you don't know about probability theory, then it's fine. You can you can just view all these AI as a finite set. If you don't know about probability, then uh, this will just encounter as this. If all of these are finite set. Okay. And uh, if you like the major theory, then this is called uh, this. Basically, this is the results from the uh, sigma subactivity. If you don't, if you know about major theory, right? So this is the prop version. And then this is the finite, uh, finite set version. Okay, so this, uh, this is not. Uh, okay, so I should say I should write I one. Okay, so this is not difficult to prove, right? This is somehow very natural. Uh, so let's give a proof and uh, see some statement. Uh, see some uh, uh, insights. Okay, so right, if let's if uh, I want to prove I I uh, the usual I will prove by uh, induction, right? So n equals to one is trivial. Right, PA1 just A1, right? P A1 just P A1 because union A1 only one, right? So A1. Okay, and the second that uh, if you know about like the high remember your elementary school results, right? This is the Venn diagram. So it's obviously that uh, if you view as a finite set, you have a or a probability you get the P A1 intersection A2 plus P A1 union A2 will be P A1 plus P A2. So it tell you that PA1 union A2 will be PA1 plus PA2 uh, minus this intersection. Okay. Uh, definitely, uh, probability is always greater or equal to zero. So this guy, this guy will, this this guy will just less than or equal to some of this. Okay. So this is somehow trivial, right? So you know n equals to one and n equals to two are common, and then you can easily check n equals to three uh, by brute force, right? But now we we hope to prove the induction. Okay, so let's say uh, this inequality, uh, the inequality uh, holds for n, uh, as I should say, n events, or you like the finite set, you just write n set, n okay, n finite set. So that, so that means that if you take any an, an event, right, and, and finite set, you union the probability will less than uh, sum of all. Okay. So that means p union a i i from one to n is always less or equal to p a i i from one to n. Okay. Then uh, we hope to deduction to n plus one. Okay. So that's it's very easy to just take another n plus one. Okay. So let's take i from one to n plus one. So this is just the same as union a i i from one to n uh, intersection with a n plus one. Okay, so if from at uh, least two, right, and uh, just two of them, right, and then we have Venn's diagram result, so we know, oh, fine, right, it could be can uh, write as less or equal to p union a i i from one to n plus p a n plus one. Okay. And uh, from the previous results, let's just take this smart guy here. So become a uh, P A I. Right, this is I from one to n. Right, this is I from one to n plus one. So proof. Okay, so uh, it's easy proof. Uh, okay, and uh, if you like the major theory, you can prove it by uh, so-called uh, using the so-called uh, subactivity. Yeah, but uh, I mean. I don't. I think it's enough for just proving. Uh, proving this. Okay. Okay, and this end can also be uh, used to find the upper bound or lower bound of the results. Uh, oh, okay. So, okay, so let's talk a little bit generalization. 
Uh, this generalization is uh, is very interesting. So I I so I should have here in the high school, but uh, unfortunately, okay. So S one S define S one to be the the first. If you have n events, right, you can take the first one and add then, and then you get S two. Uh, S two is the the I uh I should say I intersection with J such that uh, uh let's say I from one to uh. Okay, so J is not equal to I. Okay, and then you can define so called S3 just by P A I intersection A J intersection A K. So this is common, and uh, just that I, J and K should all be different, right? And then you take, and then you can prove you can get S3, S2, I uh, can S1, S2, S3, and Sn. Okay, so you get some number, some real number S2, S3, S1, uh, or, uh, I should say positive number. So, uh, what, what I'm writing about. So basically, you get some up to Sn, I will wait till we go to zero. Okay. And uh, uh, one can show that this P, if you go to Ai, I from 1 to n, well, that's all equal to j upon k minus 1, j minus 1, sj. Uh, if, let's say, if k is even, uh, k is odd. Okay, and uh, for uh, case even uh, for even even k, you get the uh, same expression equal to equal to minus one j minus one sj. Okay, and uh, in this video I will not prove this. Uh, I will not prove this, but this is basically the inclusion and and the and the exclusion principle, right? Basically, you can write this as uh, main terms, right? And then you try to uh, find a lower bound, upper bound. Okay. So this is just some uh, small video about uh, like the very common identity of this both identity in the probabilities. Okay, and then I will see you guys in the next probability videos. Be sure to uh, subscribe to my channel. Thanks.